yes so this is one more video which shows you how to find the derivative of fx is equal to root x using first principles or using the definition in my previous videos i have shown you how to find the derivative using first principle of x square 1 over x this is a different type of sums you may get so the procedure remains the same your fx has been given to be root x you generate your fx plus h you replace all the x's by x plus h you write on the formula limit as h tends to 0 it's it's critical that you write limit as h tends to 0 if you miss that out you get a 0 in your working look at my previous videos we have given you explanation on why you have to put this limit as h tends to 0 i substitute the value limit as h tends to 0 of your root x plus h root x upon h now as i told you you need to cancel off the h and then you substitute your h as 0 signifying that it's a very small value and that will give you the derivative that's how we work out the first principle so in this case if you observe if you've seen the last sum that i did of 1 over x i took the lcm and i worked it out in this case you may get stuck if you see this so what you need to do in this case is you need to rationalize the numerator generally we rationalize the denominator but since we want to simplify here we rationalize the numerator to rationalize the numerator you multiply and divide by the term with the opposite sign if there's a minus you put a plus in between root of x plus h plus root x you rationalize you multiply and divide you're not changing the expression then you apply the formula of a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square so i'll square the first one minus i'll square the second one a simple expansion formula a factorization formula again as i told you don't don't open the bracket in the denominator leave it as it is leave it as it is don't open the denominator this is a small trick that you need to remember now the square in square root will cancel off so square root and square root will cancel off limit as h tends to 0 okay this i'm just writing the formula for people who don't know so that your a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square that's the formula that i've applied yeah i open the bracket in the numerator denominator i leave the bracket intact i cancel off the x's i'm rewriting the expression i'm rewriting the expression now I can cancel off the h because h is approaching 0, h is a very small value so I can I can cancel it off. Once you cancel off the h, you can get rid of the limit and wherever h is there you can put that those values as 0. Yeah, there's a sign mistake over here, I'm sorry, excuse me, there's a plus sign over there. So x plus 0 plus root x, so that's 1 over 2 root x. So, if your function is fx is equal to root x, its derivative is 1 over 2 root x.